Alex Anthopoulos took the podium yesterday at the winter meetings and he was his typical, like very transparent self. Like he pretty much told you how it was. And I generally believe him. Um, and he said the only position player that the Braves have targeted was Kalanick, who they ended up with in trade. The only bullpen piece that they really targeted was Bummer. He didn't really say Ronaldo Lopez, but the only, I guess, the trade. He did say they've been in on a variety of starting pitchers, but he made it very clear that the only position player the Braves have targeted and anything else is a lie is Jared Kalanick. He said they're very happy with the offense. And obviously everyone's first reaction to that was, Oh, so we're not in on the Shohei Otani sweepstakes, which very well could be the case. But is there not still an inkling of you that's like, hey, Shohei wants everything kept secret. Alex Anthopoulos is like a snake in the grass. Like, it, are you 100% now shutting down, believing him? Or is there still that 2 or 3% of you that's like Alex Anthopoulos would never tell you that anyways? Anthopoulos is generally transparent, like you said earlier. And I respect that a lot, you know, just on a side note. Love that from him. Uh, but there's been cases in the past where he goes, you know, we're done and then they swing a trade or they make a signing. Uh, so I think in the moment he is telling the truth and then something comes across his plate that he just has to snap up. And, you know, that's that could be perfectly the case here. Uh, you know, somebody directly asked him, asked him about Otani uh, and he deflected. He basically, you know, kept everything hush mum. Key locked away, throw it. Unlike Dave Roberts out there, uh, the Dodgers manager came out and said that we've had meetings. Uh, and there was a visual reaction to him being like, oh, I just messed up. Uh, and, you know, I, I think also I just want to address one more thing that I do think uh, the Braves are, I don't want to say in on Otani in terms of finalists. But I do believe they had conversation. I do believe that the Braves offered a potential contract. Maybe it wasn't even in the ballpark of what he's garnering for a team like the Dodgers. But I saw some some people in particular on the national stage and on the Braves beat talk about how that Otani is just kind of, uh, you know, pretentious and the MLB is blowing this free agency. Uh, and I, I think that it's so disrespectful to the person, uh, you know, when you're negotiating uh, things like this, this kind of business, the magnitude is so large. You don't want anything getting into the cracks and potentially, you know, widening two sides. And also, I, I think that nobody is really thinking about how Japanese culture operates in a business setting. Uh, they're very conservative. Uh, they try and keep everything hush and mum. I did a little bit of research last night and everything that Otani has been doing thus far is in line with how the Japanese operate in a business setting and nobody's giving that any any attention they're just saying you know give my greedy little hand something to write about and I think it's so disingenuous to the guy to the player and to the magnitude of this kind of deal with that being said I think that Anthopolis is just being Anthopolis where you know he's doing the right thing by the player uh and he has met with Otani and he's you know expected to keep things quiet and that's what he's doing yeah, they uh, we that could be our just stop tweeting segment. We have a, a a better one coming up after this, but that could easily be the just stop tweeting segment. True. I mean, I, it, first of all, it's his personal preference. Preference, <laughs> who are you? Like, you're not the greatest baseball player to ever walk. If he wants, if he if he said, "Hey, I don't want to hear anything," and if I hear one thing, you're done. Then that's his personal preference. And, and that's trust. What? You're making a 12 year deal. That kind of trust that you break, you you want to have unwavering trust in a, in a deal like this. And if you break that little bit of trust, that could be the deciding factor for a guy like him. That could, he can hold that in very high regards. And like all these people, I uh, just, that it bothers me so much. I wish we weren't on Fox so I could really say what I want and get some curse words out there, but they deserve it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's incredibly stupid, but uh, Alex being Alex in this situation doesn't surprise yeah. me. I mean, this is a guy who, even I think he prefaced it, prefaced it in some point during the conversation. He's like, I can't talk about ongoing free agent negotiations. So even if there were ongoing free agent negotiations, he would never comment. And it's not just Otani. It would be anyone. And we've heard him say things before. Hey, I'm very happy with the catcher position. Oh, we swung a trade for Sean Murray, Murphy last offseason. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's tough. It, listen, the guy's as transparent as they come in terms of after the fact. And after the fact, he talked about Jared, Jared Kalanick very transparently, Aaron Bummer, but he's not going to uh, tip his hand in any sort of way about things that could be coming down the pike. And that's how it should be. And when you're talking about a guy like Otani who wants it that way, uh, obviously nothing is going to come out in that regard. He, he wouldn't do it even if it wasn't this way, but especially coming up out of the break, great just stop tweeting. Craziest one I think we might have ever had.